Welcome to English One again. This time, I will start the lesson differently. How? Let's listen to this short story about Tania. Here is the story. I still remember my journey to Jerusalem with my friends. It was wonderful. We have been there in 2000 in summer. We have seen the Dome of the Rock and prayed at Al-Aqsa Mosque. We have visited the old markets there. They were amazing places. We have eaten some traditional food. It was delicious. My friend, Myra, has taken some nice photos that I still keep. It was such a nice journey that I will never forget. Tania told us her story mainly by using the present perfect tense because she talked about her own experience. She also told us about something that started in the past and still has nice memories in her mind up until now and she shares it with us. So, this lesson is about the present perfect tense. But, before we get started, I'd like to remind you that some tenses in English are perfect. What does perfect here mean? Perfect means you have to use the past participle of the verb. That's also part three or verb three, such as clean, cleaned, cleaned, the third verb, wiped, visited, written, taught, spoken, etc. Now, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to form the present perfect tense and when to use it. In the previous lesson, the past simple, we discussed the regular verbs and the irregular verbs. So, you can have a look at it again if you feel that you need to do so. Now, you need to know how to form the present perfect tense. First, the present perfect tense is constructed by has or have plus the past participle of the verb. If the subject is a singular noun, such as Tony, Elizabeth, the president, the computer, etc., or a singular pronoun, such as he, she, or it, we must use has plus the past participle of the verb. If the subject is a plural noun, such as the teachers, men, the lions, etc., or the following pronouns, they, we, you, and I, we must use have plus the past participle of the verb. Before we take some examples, it is good to know that there are some keywords that usually come with the present perfect tense, such as the following. Since, for, just, already, recently, never, ever, and yet. Now, it's time to take a look at some examples. Anya has visited Jerusalem recently. This restaurant has become very popular. I have just painted the door yellow. They have paid for dinner themselves. If you look at the above examples, you can find that has plus the past participle of the verb is used with singular subjects, which are Anya and this restaurant and with plural subjects and the pronoun I, we use have plus the past participle of the verb. Now, when do we use the present perfect tense? It's used in the following cases. 1. To describe an experience. Examples. I have traveled the world. James has met the president. 
two to describe a change over a period of time. Examples, house prices have increased a lot. Andrew has grown since the last time I saw him. Three, to describe accomplishment. Take a look. Doctors have discovered cures for many diseases. Man has been to the moon. The computer has made it possible to learn online. Four, a continuing action that started in the past and connected or linked with now or present. Sam has worked here for seven years. We have been in a relationship for three months. They have been in the room all the day. In order not to mix things up, I would like to draw your attention that number four is different from the past symbol tense. How? The past symbol tense describes an action that started and ended in the past. It is no longer there. Totally completed and finished in the past. Such as saying, I finished the school four years ago. This means that I started and ended an action in the past and I am no longer a student now. While case number four expresses an action that started in the past and connected with the present or now and sometimes may continue in the future. Such as saying, Sam has worked in this company for seven years. It means that he started working in the past and is still working there and may continue working in the future in this company. Clear? I guess it should be so. One more thing before we go to the exercise. Look at these examples. I haven't visited Jerusalem yet. Have you seen the pyramids yet? If we use the word yet in a statement or a sentence, we have to use the negative form of the auxiliary verbs, which are hasn't or haven't plus the past participle of the verb. However, if the word yet is used in a question, we do not use any negatives. We use have or has plus the past participle of the verb. Now, how about taking an exercise? Choose the correct answer for the following using the present perfect tense. One, my friend to France yet hasn't been, has been or haven't been. That's correct, A, hasn't been because my friend is singular and it takes has plus the past participle of the verb. And don't forget the occurrence of the word yet. So we should use hasn't to make it negative. Hasn't been. Two. Computers our lives a lot recently. A. Have changed. B. Has changed. C. Have changed. Excellent! A. The word computers is plural and it needs have plus the past participle of the verb have changed. 3. Tony just his project on insects. A. Hasn't finished. B. Have finished. C has finished. 
has finished. C, great, because the subject here is singular. Four, you a lot since the last time I met you. A, have changed. B, have changed. C, has changed. Well done, have changed. That's A. We have the subject you that takes have plus the past participle of the verb. Five. Your mother, Jerusalem, yet have visited, has visited, or hasn't visited, has visited. Excellent. We have the word yet in a question, so don't use negative. Number six. We already the problem on the phone. A have discussed. B has discussed. C have discussed. C. Well done. The plural pronoun we takes have plus the past participle not has. Now, before I finish, let me ask you a question. Why this tense is a little bit difficult for some Arab learners? The answer is because it has no clear or one-to-one -one equivalent form in Arabic. This explains why students rarely or even do not use it in their written or spoken language. So, don't forget it. It's been there in the English language to be used by people who use English appropriately. Have a nice day and goodbye. Yeah.